Incan architecture is the most significant pre-Columbian architecture in South America. The Incas inherited an architectural legacy from Tiwanaku, founded in the 2nd century BCE in present-day Peru. The capital of the Inca Empire, Cusco, still contains many fine examples of Inca architecture, although many walls of Inca masonry have been incorporated into Spanish colonial structures. The famous royal estate of Machu Picchu is a surviving example of Inca architecture. Other significant sites include Sacsayhuaman and Alant Tambo. The Incas also developed an extensive road system spanning most of the western length of the continent. Inca buildings were made out of field stones, or semi-work stone blocks and dirt set in mortar. Adobe walls were also quite common, usually laid over stone foundations. The material used in Inca buildings depended on the region. For instance, in the coast they used large rectangular adobe blocks, while in the Andes they used local stones. The most common shape in Inca architecture was the rectangular building without any internal walls, and roofed with wooden beams and thatch. There were several variations of this basic design, including gabled roofs, rooms with one or two of the long sides opened and rooms that shared long wall. Rectangular buildings were used for quite different functions in almost all Inca buildings, from humble houses to palaces and temples. Even so, there are some examples of curved walls on Inca buildings, mostly in regions, outside the central area of the empire. Two-story buildings were infrequent. When they were built the second floor was accessed from the outside via a stairway or high terrain rather than from the first floor. While apertures, including doors, niches and windows, usually had a trapezoidal shape, they could be fitted with double or triple jams as a form of ornamentation. Other kinds of decoration was scarce. Some walls were painted or adorned with metal plaques. In rare cases walls were sculpted with small animals or geometric patterns. The most common composite form in Inca architecture was the cancha, a rectangular enclosure housing three or more rectangular buildings placed symmetrically around a central courtyard. Cancha units served widely different purposes as they formed the basis of simple dwellings as well as of temples and palaces. Furthermore, several cancha could be grouped together to form blocks in Inca settlements. A testimony of the importance of these compounds in Inca architecture is that the central part of the Inca capital of Cusco consisted of a large cancha, including Cura Cancha and the Inca palaces. The best preserved examples of cancha are found at Talant Tambo, an Inca settlement located along the Yorubamba River. The first two types were used on important buildings or perimeter walls while the last two were employed mostly on terrace walls and river canalization. According to Graziano Gasparini and Luz Margolis, Incastan Emissonry was inspired by the architecture of Tawunaku, an archaeological site in modern Bolivia, built several centuries before the Inca Empire. They argue that according to ethno-historical accounts the Incas were impressed by these monuments and employed large numbers of stone workers from nearby regions in the construction of their own buildings. In addition to these references, they also identified some formal similarities between Tiwanaku and Inca architecture including the use of cut and polished stone blocks, as well as of double jams. A problem with this hypothesis is the question of how was expertise preserved in the 300 years between the collapse of Tiwanaku and the appearance of the Inca Empire and its architecture. As a solution, John Hislop has argued that the Tiahuanaco Stanemasonry tradition was preserved in the Lake Titicaca region in sites such as Tanka Tanka, which features walls resembling Inca polygonal masonry. A second major influence on Inca architecture came from the Wari culture, a civilization contemporary to Tiwanaku. According to Ann Kendall, the Huari introduced their tradition of building rectangular enclosures in the Cusco region, which formed a model for the development of the Inca Cancha. There is evidence that such traditions were preserved in the Cusco region after the decline of the warriors is attested by the enclosures found at sites such as Jaquequaral, 28 km southeast of the Inca capital.